Hey YouTube land, it's Tychondrus here with another action video review, or action figure review. Um, now, it's a bit of a, I'm just testing out this new tripod thing that I got, as well as doing a review, so if things sound a bit odd or weird, it's just note that I'm testing it out. Um, I got a new tripod for my phone to see if I can use the camera a bit better. And this is a video review for the Lanyard Toys. Aliens Collection Queen. Now, before I proceed, I just need to say that these video reviews are intended for collectors over the age of 13 and just to abide by the FDA and the COPA regulations. So, unfortunately, I don't have the packaging for this. I ended up chucking the packaging. In fact, I actually have two of these now because I got a friend of mine in the States to get me one and they actually got released over here in Ireland by the time um, with all the lockdown stuff and things going on. They actually got released over here in Ireland in Smiths. So this line is exclusively Smiths in Europe, I think, in Ire Ireland anyway, in Europe. And it's in the US, it's a Walmart exclusive line. So... And they have a few new products that are kind of coming out at the moment. There is another version of the Queen done in red, which is kind of like a battle pack. So you get two aliens, the Queen, one of the kind of Marines, uh, an alien egg. And for the most part, it's the same figures, just repainted in different colours. But this review is for this Queen. And this is the purple and kind of bluish translucent uh, Queen that you can see. So... It is a very nice figure. Unfortunately, I don't have my measuring tape with me to measure it. But as far as I remember, it's about it's about nearly two feet or it's about nearly 18 inches length. Unfortunately, I can't use the measurement option on my phone at the same time to give you a measurement. But it is quite nicely detailed. It has some interesting paint apps. For the most part, it's like a purple plastic but in some areas now the tail is unattached in the box and once it's plugged in it's not designed to come back out but her tail is actually has a kind of metallic purple translucent to it and it has an extra rotation on it you also have a rotating piece here you have forward and back on the legs you have a ball joint on the ankle there's nothing in the knees, but it, it it's probably best that it doesn't, so it helps support the size of this thing. Um, I do find that sometimes the ankles are a little bit loose on mine, so sometimes she tends to flop forward a bit. Uh, the spines on the back are done in this slightly rubbery um, material, so they're not solid. The arms are also, the center arms are also in that kind of slightly rubberized uh, plastic and the tops of her normal arms are kind of slightly kind of softer as well uh, they're fairly solid but they're not too gummy if you know what i mean um sculpting wise it is fantastically done um it's very reminiscent of the queen you see in the aliens movie and uh, she has an opening jaw and an action feature so she has an extending mouth so that when you push the head down it extends the mouth inner mouth out and you can close the mouth out and do the same thing and it won't move the the mouth piece the red one that's coming out i'm not sure if it's hit stores yet over in the states um it is on pre-order or it's on listed on the smith's website and it's not due till i think august is on the website for Smiths. I think it could be later. But the red one has lights and sounds. So I'm not sure how the lights. I'm not sure how lights would incorporate onto the Alien Queen. I'm assuming when you press her head back like this. Some part here would be translucent and it will glow. Maybe that's how it's going to work. It could be something completely different. Um, arms are on a joint uh, and swivel. So you can rotate all the way around. You need to just move the arm out of position of the spines just to get that clearance. But you can rotate the arms 360. There is a single joint elbow on a ratchet. Um, it gets little, maybe just a little less than 90 degree bend. 
but you can outstretch the arm quite a bit and the arm is quite long so unfortunately i don't have any other fitters with me at the moment um because i'm doing this off the cuff i would basically as i said just testing out this uh this camera stand that i got just to see what it's like but there you go you can get a good glimpse of the queen herself um i'm not sure what i'm gonna do with the second one i was planning on doing custom i may still do a custom or i might just see about um i, I might do maybe you know um a competition or something and get do the other one now both queens i have don't have boxes so they're loose um but overall they're really nicely sculpted you can kind of use the tail to support her as well if you want but it looks better with the tail just in a kind of a more menacing pose uh the tail is intended to be kind of pointing downwards especially if you follow the curvature of the spines but you can if you want just uh, turn it around have it in different directions so you do have that option you can have it pointing up it just look, does look a little bit awkward but overall it's not too bad so there you go guys quick video review for the uh alien queen from lennard toys uh as soon as i get a proper setup again i'm going to start doing better videos now that i have my little tripod i'm going to test it out with more stuff so there you go guys hope you enjoy this video review and as i say my videos please feel free to like comment and subscribe to my channel cheers